Hey there Virgo, welcome to Shared Sentience and thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your message um, from the fairies and your blessings from the fairies. Okay, this is a general timeless reading. So whenever you see this is when you're meant to see it. Any information you need, you can find it within the description box down below. Please be sure to check out the social media pages, Instagram and Facebook. I uh, post daily energies on both platforms. So if you guys could check that out for me, I would really appreciate it. Okay, I also have Patreon for $15 a month. You guys can join me over there. All right, there's all kinds of bonus content, so the link is down below if you all want to check it out, okay? So the reason I have the cards pulled already, I don't have the tarot pulled, but I'm not really familiar with these decks, okay? I've used them a couple times, but the descriptions are super long, so I just kind of wanted to read those off camera and give you guys, just have a basic understanding of what I'm reading for, you, for. and um, I didn't want to have to read to you guys forever, but I am going to... Um, read a, a little bit of the description for your blessings card because I really like that one. We have card number 26 for your message, the source of magic, okay? So this is about manifestation pretty much, okay? So let's go ahead and look at what's going on, what energies you're bringing in, what energies you're blocking out, what's going on. Oh, no, no, no. This deck is so slick and it's so easy for all of it to just fall apart. So give me just a second here, you guys. All right. What's going on with the Source of Magic for Virgo, please, fairies? What's this message about? I feel like this is truthfully believing in the magic that you have within you already. You have the Eight of Cups here. Um, you have the Ten of Wands. Saturn in Pisces, Saturn in Sagittarius. Some of you just feel really restricted. King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Um, you have the Hangman, Pisces energy. Yeah, I feel like, Virgo, you feel really stuck in a situation. Six of Swords, but you can move, okay? They want you to know that, all right? Yeah, you have the Strength card as the last card out here. So there's basically all this stagnant energy. I almost feel like you're feeling detached. Um, you're feeling more, like, cerebral than anything is how this seems to move. The King of Swords showing up here. Some of you, you may feel like you can't do without something. I don't know why that message is coming through, but with the Ten of Wands, you feel like there's something that you have to have. Um, that you have to have in your life or someone that you have to have in your life here um, that needs to be walked away from, all right? Some of you, you may feel a strong connection with someone. You may feel a strong attachment to them. But the Eight of Cups says that there's something missing here in this situation, okay? There's a cup missing from the stack. They're walking away. They're headed towards the Ten of Cups. Um, but you have the Ten of Wands here. So it's like there's something that you're really carrying with you. You may be caught up on this idea that for example, like this is the person you're meant to be with or something of that nature here. Yeah, you have the will of fortune. It's fate. It's destiny. Some of you may have met this person by chance or something of that nature. And it's just, it's a special connection that I feel you can't really let go of or you feel like you can't let go of here. But they're saying that it has to be cut out, okay? It has to be cut out. You have the hangman and the six of swords. So yeah, I feel like there can be movement here. It's just that there's something you have to drop. Some of you are holding on to, um, you know, this resentful energy towards a person. Some of you, you may still want to be with a person from the past. Others of you, I feel like there's just just a resentment that's really blocking the flow of love and new energy, right? And we have the strength card here. So I feel like you can persevere through this. This is all about what it is that you want to attract, okay? Uh, but there, there should be no going backwards is basically what they're saying here. All four movement. You have three cards of four movement. Even the ten of wands is like basically a card of being so focused on the trees that you can't see the forest, okay? He's got all those wands just blocking his face there, but right there in the background is a castle that he's headed towards, okay? So it's almost like you guys could be getting caught up on this one chapter of your life, this one really tough uh, experience that you've had, all right? So they're wanting you to kind of understand that this is just one small experience, okay? It's just one small happening, one connection, you know? It's nothing in the grand scheme of things is what this feels like here to me, truthfully. And I feel like there's really a need to get back in touch with Source, all right? With the King of Swords being here, like I said, I feel like you guys are really in your head at this point in time, and you're not really as connected to the magic within you and the things that you can accomplish here, all right? So I feel like you're just, you just don't feel right emotionally is basically how I feel. But I think that you can persevere through this, so they want you to really get back in touch with yourself, okay? Um, and move away from this situation that's really dragging you down. We have a blessing of power, all right? And you have the strength card show up for your last one over here. Some of you could be involved with a Pisces or a Leo, all right? You may have those signs in your chart. What's going on with the blessing of power here for Virgo? What's this blessing here, fairies? A blessing of power. I feel like you're meeting a goal here. I think that's what's about to happen, all right? Once you let go of this, I feel like you start to meet goals in other areas. You you start to 
do the things that you never really saw yourself doing. I think you always wanted to do these things, but they seem impossible. They seem out of reach, you know. So I feel like they're, you're in this space where the impossible is going to happen. Two of Cups. Maybe you were feeling like you wouldn't find a healthy connection. The High Priestess. That's the magic within you right there coming out. Seven of Swords. I think for some of you, you could have been involved with someone here who really kind of drained you of this, put you in this like really worldly headspace. And that's not a, that's not a bad thing. Sometimes we need to be grounded in reality, but I also feel like it was just too much for you here, Virgo. What else? Give me three more. It's like the things you wanted. Maybe you had somebody trying to convince you that they weren't achievable, that they weren't possible. All right. I just closed that one. I meant to read you guys that um, blessing. We're going to get a couple more cards out here for this. And then I'll read it to you guys. Yeah, there's definitely a power shift, you guys. I feel like it is a little bit slow moving, but you are going to have everything that you wish for here with the Ten of Cups. You have the Star card out. I mean, you have the High Priestess here. Some of you could definitely have some Pisces in your chart. But yeah, this could be new connections, you know, with the Blessing of Power. I just feel like there's something really valuable coming into your life here, something really powerful. And again, it could be a connection, but this could also just be you kind of, uh, you know, being your best version here, really kind of seeing that. It's not just seeing it, but you know, believing it. That's how that feels to me with the high priestess being present here, uh, creating new truths, sitting in them confidently. And you have this seven of swords energy over here. I feel like if someone has taken from you here, Virgo, you are going to gain back everything that you lost. I want you to know that as well, okay? Um, because you don't truly lose what is yours, you know what I mean? I feel like you're just going through a really tough chapter here and you were in a very vulnerable vulnerable position, okay? We have the star and the eight of wands, so there is going to be a shift here. You guys are going to get everything that you wished for, all right? And you're going to be guided in new directions some of you in new environments entirely, okay? So I do think that it is a little bit slow moving, but slow and steady wins the race, all right? I feel like you guys are going to catch up eventually here with this Knight of Pentacles. Whatever that means to you, that's the message that I'm getting with that, all right? So yeah, you will hit the finish line, and they want you to know that, and you're going to have everything that you wanted. I'm going to go ahead and read um, from the book here, that first uh, paragraph in the um, for the Blessing of Power. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, it's like you guys start to lose faith in this situation, but the star card showing up, your faith is going to be restored, all right? But there is a situation that you have to leave or let go of, okay? You have to let go of this resentment that you have for a person, all right? Um, also, there's an emphasis on learning, all right? So I don't know what that's about, but I, I, feel like it's, I feel like it's really tied to these truths and these beliefs that you have, just letting go of those, but something new is going to take its place. So definitely explore. I think that could be what the travel message or the change in environment message was about. So with this gift from the fairies, you can now work with the power in your ble in blessed ways. May this gift connect you more deeply with your own innate and natural power. May you feel it arise from within you, right from your own inner sun. With the touch of a fairy wand, a moment of light shining upon you that warms you and helps you trust this great force within you. With this activation comes your ability to create positive, beautiful, caring, compassionate change within the world and within your world. And when your power arises, you will bring substance, meaning, and goodness and find the willpower and drive you need to fulfill this promise of your own innate talents and gifts. With this power, you now create and recreate, rewriting your own truths, like I said, and find ways to help support others and feel the safety of bringing their own power to birth. Okay, so yeah, basically. All right, so that's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. I really love this message for you all. Things are going to turn around, but I do feel like you are going to have to put in a little bit of work in regards to uh, either leaving a situation or leaving a certain belief behind, forgiving a person. For a lot of you, I feel that it's forgiving a person here. I feel like it's whoever this Seven of Swords person is who has taken from you or cheated you out of something or treated you unfairly, all right? Just been unkind in general. So I feel like there has to be some forgiveness that takes place there so you can open, be open and receptive to the new, all right? Also some learning, like I said, some some of you, this could involve furthering your education if this is you kind of going for your dreams and uh, really uh, putting those gifts and talents on display, I feel like it's going to require a lot of learning, okay, studying. So I don't know what that's about for you guys, but I really like this for you all a lot, just getting in touch with your own inner magic. So um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Virgo. Be sure to watch out for your other signs, especially if this did not resonate, but I really loved it overall, and um, I hope you all have a great evening. Bye.